lesser slave like honorable member? Thank you. On September 27, 1909, the community of Gruard was officially incorporated as a village in a new province of Alberta, and the residents honored Bishop Gruard by naming the new village after him. After all, a year after his consecration as a bishop in 1891, he visited the St. Bernard Mission in Gruard. A hundred years later, many people gathered in a small village to commemorate Gruard's 100th birthday. Gruard's history is rich and fascinating, and in 1912, Gruard became a hub for many people. By 1914, five short years after its founding, over 1,000 residents called Gruard home and enjoyed the services of two schools, a dentist, four doctors, an eye specialist, three churches, a steamship company, a local newspaper, an active board of trade, 20 general stores, two department stores, a hardware store, two bakeries, two butcher shops, a tire shop, two jewelers, three implement agencies, a flower and feed store, two laundromats, six livery barns, a harness shop, three blacksmith shops, two motor garages, five real estate offices, five pool rooms, a motion picture theater, a skating rink, tennis, baseball and hockey clubs, a Dominion Lands office, a government telegraph office, a Royal Northwest Mounted Police headquarters, a public health officer, an immigration hall, a hospital, a fire engine brigade, two sawmills, a bowling alley, a 24-piece brass band, two law offices, two drug stores, a post office, numerous restaurants, a rural telephone system, and a 16-kilometer long Main Street whoa, named whoa, Bouillon whoa. Street. In other words, Gruard was going to be a well-established community on its way to being recognized as the capital of the North and the first city in the last Great West. However, Mr. Speaker, the confidence in the future of Gruard as a major bustling metropolis would not be sustained. Economic development at the time relied heavily on railway development, and in 1915 it was decided that the newly developed Ed Edmonton, Dunvegan, and British Columbia Railway would bypass the town of Gruart to the south by a mere 12 miles. This established the railway towns of High Prairie and McLennan, causing Gruart's population to drop by two-thirds and the portage water routes died. So, Mr. Speaker, I would like all members of the Assembly to join me in commemorating a remarkable 100 years of history to my hometown, Gruart.